Ange Kerber and Aga Radvonska will meet Wickmeyer and Serenko in the second round of the women's doubles tournament in Doha. But things got off poorly for Radvonska, who was on serve. She overhit the mark, down love 40 to be broken in the very first game. With Serenko serving, Radvonska and Kerber did pick up the first point of the game, but they soon were trailing 30-15. And it was soon 40-15 with Radvonska hitting the net after getting all tangled up. And Wickmeyer's rally with Kerber ended when Kerber hit the net to make it two love to Wickmeyer and Serenko, who quickly jumped out to a love 30 lead on Kerber's serve. But Radvonska and Kerber did bring it back to 30 all. Unfortunately, Kerber's volley did go out. So once more, Wickmeyer and Serenko had break point and they made short work of the resulting rally with Kerber knocking it out once more to give Wickmeyer and Serenko a three-love lead. We move ahead now to the fourth game with Wickmeyer and Serenko up 40-love at one point before Radvonska and Kerber brought the game back to juice. But on the fourth advantage to Wickmeyer and Serenko, Radvonska hit the net from close range to give them an almost unstoppable four-love lead in this first set. But with Radvonska serving, it was soon 40-15 in hers and Kerber's favour, and the fantastic backhand cross-court shot by Radvonska gave them their first game win of this set. They soon had break point as they were up 15-30 in this long rally with a rare error by Wickmeyer, allowed them to take break point. So they were up 15-40, but with the two ladies getting tangled up, they still held on, and the comeback was on. It was now 4-2. In the following game, with Kerber serving, the two teams traded points to be locked at 30 all, and Serenko's unforced error put Radvonska and Kerber in the box seat to make it 4-3. But they did go up advantage, and unfortunately, Radvonska didn't even come close to clearing the net to bring it back to juice. And on Wickmeyer and Serenko's second advantage, another mistake by Radvonska. Again, barely even coming close to clearing the net. It was soon 5-2 in favour of Wickmeyer and Serenko. In the next game, again, locked at 30 apiece with Wickmeyer serving. Wickmeyer went way over the court to take break point, but they couldn't capitalize, and Wickmeyer and Serenko soon split Radvonska and Kerber to make it 6-2 to take the first set in 37 minutes. The two aces by Wickmeyer and Serenko proving quite costly there with 22 unforced errors by Radvonska and Kerber apiece. A double fault by Radvonska in the first game of the second set brought about juice, but Radvonska and Kerber hung on to take the first game. In the second game, an error by Wickmeyer brought about Juice for the second time, but on the first time of asking with advantage, Serenko hit the ball to Radvonska, who overhit the court entirely, and the set was tied up at one apiece. Up 40-30 on Kerber's service game. Relatively long rally, resulting in both Radvonska and Kerber getting tangled up in the middle but they weren't punished because Serenko hit the ball out on a backhand error, so they took the third game. But down love 40 on Wickmeyer's serve. Radvonska did a fantastic drop shot that Wickmeyer was never going to reach to bring it back to 15-40. It was soon juice, and Radvonska and Kerber took advantage, and on the first time of asking, they broke Wickmeyer and Serenko on Kerber's fantastic volley and they took a 3-1 lead in this second set. We jump ahead now to Serenko's service game after Radvonska held serve without dropping a point. Radvonska and Kerber soon had break point with the possibility of making it 5-1, but unfortunately they let Wickmeyer and Serenko back into the game, and on their first advantage opportunity, Kerber hit the net on a forehand volley error. It was all downhill for the Pole and the German after that, on Kerber's serve, they soon got broken. It was 40-30. They did come back to juice the game, but on Wickmeyer and Serenko's first advantage, Radvonska wasn't even close to keeping that drop shot in, and it was soon 4-3, still in favour of Radvonska and Kerber. 
A fantastic shot by Wickmeyer there did make it 40-30, which they ended up going on to win to make it 4-4. Down 15-40 on Radwanska's serve. Wickmeyer and Serenko soon broke again to be one game away from winning the match. The last game of the second set went for 13 minutes and did go to match point eight times. On Serenko's serve, her fantastic backhand gave them the win because Kerber could not reach it. So Radvonska and Kerber are out after losing 6-2, 6-4 in an hour and a half. Both teams have one return winners, although Radvonska and Kerber did make six saved match points. 23 winners to Wigmeyer and Serenko's 34, but the unforced error is very even at 42-40. So there is confirmation that Radvonska and Kerber are out of the second round. Tune in for the next episode in a couple of days when Radvonska and Kerber actually face one another. Thanks for watching.